You've been lost in the wilderness for over 24 hours when you finally come across a body of fresh water. You're so dehydrated that you start chugging as much water as possible. But little do you know that life-threatening bacteria infest this water. What should you have done differently? How to Survive presents The Top 5 Worst Survival Mistakes If you're a subscriber, you probably know more about survival than an average person. But maybe you need a refresher course. Even with the latest and greatest technology available, national parks in the United States have more than 65,000 search and rescue missions between the years 1992 and 2007. Approximately 40% of them involved lost groups or individuals. While 93% of search and rescue efforts end within 24 hours, you want yours to end with you being alive. So what should you not do? How can the sun save your life? Why does the shape of your shelter matter? How can first aid make things worse? Mistake number five, inability to make fire. Fire is essential to surviving. It can keep you warm during a cold night, help you purify water, cook food, ward off predators, and signal for help. When setting out on an adventure, you should carry an ignition source and know how to start a fire. Here are some tips. Use the driest materials possible. Instead of using live tree material or green material on the ground, look for dry, dead branches or dry grass. If you want to make a smoke signal, start a fire with dry material and then add green vegetation. Use small materials as smaller fibers are easier to light. The best way to start a fire is to start small and make it bigger. If you don't have matches or a lighter, you will need to be creative. You can use glasses to focus light into a concentrated beam or clear ice if you're in a cold climate. Mistake number four, cutting corners on shelter. Make the best temporary shelter you can and do it the first time around. You won't know how long you might need it. Here are some tips to avoid cutting corners. If you need to make a shelter quickly, lean it against an existing structure. This could be a wall, fallen tree, or rock face. If there is no structure nearby, build a round lodge. It's commonly called a teepee. Lean a large number of materials together, creating a larger structure. It provides more protection because it encircles you. This will also require more time and materials, but it will be a better structure that can protect you, your gear, and more. Just don't build your shelter too close to water or you might get washed away in a flood. Mistake number three, no navigation skills. If you're venturing into the wilderness, you should know where you are going and what the route is like, and you should know how to get back to civilization. If you don't know how to use a compass or lack basic navigation skills, getting lost can be a big problem. Here are some tips to help you get to safety. Get to the high ground. If there is a hill nearby, climb it and try to identify which way you need to go. For example, you might be able to see where the parking lot is. Use the sun. The sun moves from east to west. This is better than nothing and it will help you determine which direction you are going. To find the east, plant a stick into the ground and mark where its shadow is. Wait a few minutes, then see which direction the shadow has moved. This is east. Mistake number two, no basic first aid knowledge. Being in a survival scenario when someone has an injury makes everything harder. Using basic first aid skills can make the difference between life and death, especially if you don't know when you will be rescued. Here are some tips for handling basic injuries. Close wounds as soon as possible. Having an open wound invites bacteria into your body, which can cause serious infections. Even a small cut could lead to grave complications. It is best to clean the wound with alcohol and seal it with a bandage or a cloth. If the wound doesn't stop bleeding in an emergency, you can burn the wound clothes. Use tourniquets only when necessary. They can be incredibly helpful, but only use them as a last resort. The tight binding could make you lose a limb. Brace a broken bone and bind the injury so it doesn't get worse. 
You can create a brace using a tree branch and some cloth or a rope. Don't try to reset a broken bone unless you are a medical professional, or you could make things worse. Mistake number one, no water purification. Having clean drinking water is essential in any survival situation. You can have basic and temporary shelters that work and survive for weeks without food. But if you don't have water, you can only survive for a couple of days. If it is hot and you are on the move, your survival time is even less. It is essential to remember these tips so you can find safe water. Water runs downhill, so listen for it flowing. Don't trust stagnant water. You could get diseases like malaria and dengue fever if you drink standing water. Instead, drink strongly flowing water. It's always good to boil water to purify it, even with flowing water. That avoids getting a parasite or infectious disease, which could make your situation much worse in the long term. As long as you don't make these five critical mistakes, you should survive getting lost in the wilderness. But remember, you're not alone out there. You might be able to survive the environment. But what about all the creatures who want to attack you? Do you know which animals you have to worry about the most? Find out here on How to Survive.